Hello everyone, my name is Ernest Dollar and I'm director of the City of Raleigh Museum, but today we are coming to you from the Dr. Manasseh T. Pope House Museum. It's Raleigh's only African American house museum and today we're going to really show you some of the wonderful treasures left behind by the Pope family. Now everybody loves family photographs. They help keep memories, remember loved ones, and sort of capture that moment in the past. Now in the Pope house, the Pope daughters were the last of their family. And when they passed away, they left their entire house filled with their family treasures. So today we're gonna to take a look at some of the Pope house family photographs, which are by far one of the most incredible, important collections of black photography in Raleigh. It really tells us about how the Popes lived, how they saw their world, and how they captured it in a photo. So today we're going to take a look at Dr. Pope's military experience. And please join me in just a moment as we look at Dr. Pope's experience in the Spanish-American War. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Hey yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. I need to talk a little bit about Dr. Pope and tell you his history to understand the significance of these artifacts. Dr. Manasseh T. Pope was born in Rich Square, North Carolina, and came to Shaw University in the 19th century. He was one of the first graduating classes from Leonard Medical School that was part of Shaw University. So in fact, he was one of the very first black doctors in North Carolina. He moved to Charlotte, started his own drug company, the Queen City Drug Company, and eventually would be the first African American to run for mayor of Raleigh in 1919. But after his time in Charlotte, he came back to Raleigh and then he enlisted in the 3rd North Carolina Infantry to go fight during the Spanish-American War in 1898. Now this was a big deal because it was a political experiment to not only have black soldiers but black officers in charge of those soldiers. So Dr. Pope became the regimental surgeon because of his medical background. So today we're gonna to take a look at some of those photographs that capture that experience of African Americans in the Spanish-American War. Through the Pope collection, we probably have one of the largest uh, collections of artifacts that talk about this experience. So I want to start off today and talk about these two objects I have here. It's a photograph and Dr. Pope's medical bag. Now right here is the photograph of Dr. Pope. This is him right here. Now, Dr. Pope is actually, uh, the third North Carolina did not go outside of the United States to fight the war. So at first the unit was deployed to um, Knoxville, Kentucky, then they moved to Macon, Georgia, and stayed stateside and did not really go overseas to Cuba to fight. Through their photographs, we have an excellent idea of what life was like for these black soldiers trying to fight and show their patriotism during a very unpopular war. So here's Dr. Pope. And he's standing here with the colonel of the regiment, another Raleighite. You can see they stand in front of this tent. And see this little box that Dr. Pope is holding is actually this right here. So he saved this box. And we we're very fortunate to have it because it has all of his medical remedies still in the containers. And it's an incredible piece to take an object and to show it being used in a historical photograph. Now the City of Raleigh Museum just had this conserved, which means we spent about $2,000 to uh, to clean it up, to get the mold off, to sort of patch some of the parts of it, and to make sure that future generations will be able to enjoy this piece and understand the importance of it as an African-American doctor and veteran fighting for the United States. The Pope House photograph collection is amazing. It's huge. There's an incredible number of photographs that tell so many stories about black life in Raleigh and in North Carolina. But the unfortunate thing is so few of these images are identified. But in the collection of military images from the Spanish-American War, one stands out as being identified, and this is it. Someone had the foresight, or maybe it was the, the poser himself, to actually label his name on this photograph. And this is an image of John L. Birdsall. 
and he's standing in front of what looks to be a tent holding his rifle. He's holding his belt, his military hat, his boots. He's ready for war. And on the back, we know that this image was shot at Fort Macon. So this is fairly early in the service of Company B, which was Dr. Pope's company, of the 3rd North Carolina Infantry. Now, John L. Birdsall has a fairly interesting history. So John L. Birdsall was born in Raleigh in June of 1881 and grew up in the Second Ward. He enlisted on April 27, 1898 and served with Company B with Dr. Pope until the end of the war. He mustered out in February 8, 1899. But John Birdsall loved the military. He loved the Army. So he continually re-enlisted in the 24th U.S. Infantry and continued to serve with this regiment all the way up until 1907. So 1907, the United States was sending an invasion force to the Philippines to try to suppress a rebellion there. And unfortunately, John L. Birdsall succumbed to disease and died on the transport to Sherman. Now fortunately, his body was brought back to Raleigh and buried in the National Cemetery where you can still see his grave today. So fortunately, John L. Birdsall, either himself or somebody that knew him, put his name on this image. So we've got his name with this image so we can tell his story and forever remember his sacrifice to service to the United States at a time when African Americans saw little democracy at home but fought on many foreign fields for that same cause. So this last image is perhaps one of the most powerful in the Pope Family House collection. Now the third North Carolina saw service in Knoxville, Tennessee and Macon, Georgia. Again, parts of an unfriendly segregated South. And at the time of the Spanish-American War, racial tensions were flaring. North Carolina alone had perhaps one of the only American coups, the Wilmington Race Riot, 1898. So it was a dangerous time for even these black soldiers to be traveling throughout the South. But again, this image shows that they were standing up for themselves as a sort of resistance against all of the segregation. Now this image was of the officers of the 3rd North Carolina mounted on their horses and off to the side you can sort of see the soldiers standing in ranks. Now we had to do a little bit of research on this image because we didn't know where it was shot. So if you can see faintly back here they're standing in front of a monument. So after a quick search on the internet for both Knoxville and Macon, places where we knew the regiment was, we figured out where this was. Now this we discovered it was in Macon, Georgia, and this monument was the monument to Confederate soldiers. So have all of these black men under arms in front of this monument certainly sent a message. And you can see faintly way up here in the back with these two white faces looking down on this parade that they generation earlier would never have seen, would not have been in their fondest ideas that it could happen. So certainly images like this are incredibly important to understand how the 3rd North Carolina and Dr. Pope asserted themselves at a time of great racial unease. So hopefully the City of Raleigh Museum will be digitizing the Pope House Family Collection and have it online for others to enjoy because it is incredibly a gem for understanding the African American experience not only in Raleigh but the nation itself. So I hope you'll come to the Pope House and take a tour and step back in time and step back into the shoes of Dr. Manasseh Pope and learn what his life was like and how he shaped Raleigh and the nation. I'm Ernest Dollar from the City of Raleigh Museum. Catch you next time.